looking for the perfect white shade for your next project choosing between hundreds and hundreds of different whites and off whites is seemingly one of the most difficult tasks how on earth do you know what white will suit your space so that's why today i'm going to be sharing seven of my favorite dulux white colors so let's get on with the video now before we get into the top seven i am going to give a wild card here and i've got to mention dulux brilliant white now dulux brilliant white is actually what we've got on our hallway do i regret it yes i definitely do with a dog um dulux brilliant white is a bog standard white color and it's perfect if you have a sunny very bright and light hallway and if you really want to create that air in open space it's a great choice but if you do have pets um if you have children it's not a great color at all for a hallway your hallway is one of your busiest transitional spaces in your house and it will show every piece of dirt every mark and scuff when the light shines on those walls so just as a pre-warning do it at your own peril, but bright white can look really, really nice in a hallway as long as you do break up the monotony of that white with other colours, black accents, and what we have, which I will show you now, we have a rustic wooden beam, and it just breaks up the whiteness that you have in an all bright, all bright white hallway, basically. So that's what I wanted to share with you about bright white, and also if you have a very, very narrow hallway with no natural light, bright white is the worst colour you can choose because it can only bounce around what little available light it has, which in this case is none, so it's going to actually make your hallway feel flatter, much darker, and you can choose many more other off-white colours which are actually going to bring some warmth um, into your hallway and make them feel a little bit more open, airy and brighter. So anyway, let's get on, and I'm going to share seven of my top Dulux white colours with you. Coming and then at number one, we have Fine Cream from Dulux. Now, Fine Cream has strong yellow undertones to it. It's a yellow-based shade, and this is what makes it great for sort of north-facing hallways or hallways that have very little to no natural light available. Those yellow undertones are going to make the space feel warmer, and it's also going to counteract any blue light which is associated with a north-facing room and one that has very little natural light available. Now, if you don't like strong yellow undertones, you can find other off-whites which have slightly more subtle undertones. I really like Egyptian cotton, which I will probably talk about in this video as well. Um, but yeah, it's going to bring a warmer shade, but if you do have um, no natural light or you have a north-facing space, then it's a really really great choice and it's going to bring that warmth and inviting feel that you do need in a hallway coming in at number two we have dulux frosted dawn frosted dawn is part of dulux's light and space collection and i've personally not used anything from this collection before but basically the paint has a special formula in it that's got light reflecting particles which means it's perfect for dark or smaller spaces and those light particles are meant to make your room feel even bigger more light and more open so it can actually be a really really good choice for hallway I mean, the jury is out. I've not personally tried it myself, although it does have a slight subtle yellow undertone to it. So it's gonna make a dark space. So it's gonna make a north facing room a little bit lighter, but it doesn't have a very sunny yellow disposition as some of the other off-whites do. So if you do wanna give it a go, I think it's a really nice choice. It's gonna bring warmth and it's gonna bring an inviting feel to any room you choose to use it in. Coming in at number three, I've got Dulux White Mist. Now this is a complete opposite to the other two colors I've just talked about. It's actually got slight blue undertone to it so it has a really cool feel to it and it can look grey in certain lights as well. So I definitely wouldn't be using this in a north facing room but if you have a west facing room and you want to lean into the cooler tones it's going to balance and neutralise the sunlight that comes into that space at the end of the day. But also it can be really good in a sunny south facing room. It's going to add some coolness to the space and it's going to neutralise the intensity of the sun that you get in your bedroom or your hallway or your living room at the end of the day. Now also it's a really good colour for pairing with other cool tones so thinking about sage greens, soft blues and even greys but if you do want to use grey in your scheme just make sure you're using another colour as an accent because it's going to break up the monotony and it's going to stop the room from feeling too cold. Number four we've got rock salt and I wanted to mention another really cool off-white. It's got grey and blue undertones and it depends what it looks like in different lights so always do buy a tester before committing but it definitely has a very sort of pale grey shade to it again this is really really good for sunny south facing rooms and also in a west facing room if you want to lean into the coolness and neutralize that sunny room in your afternoon and early evening number five we have dulux egyptian cotton it's one of the most enduringly popular dulux shades and i mention it in lots and lots of my videos and the reason is because it is perfect for so many different orientations of rooms so egyptian cotton does have yellow undertones it's not the most yellow off-whites that they have in their collection but it does bring a really gorgeous grayish beige and even a yellow feel to a room so again 
do test it first because your light is really gonna affect how it looks in your room to how it looks online and how it looks in someone else's house. So Egyptian cotton is just perfect for a north facing room. It's got yellow undertones. It's gonna really counteract the blue light that comes into that space. But equally, it's great for west facing rooms and even sunny south facing rooms if you really, really wanna lean into that warmth for the color. And it's perfect for any room in your home as well. Great for a hallway, it's super inviting and warming. Looks great on a half wall paneling look in a bedroom and also a living space if you wanna create a really cozy and inviting feel. Number six, we have summer linen. And I really, really love this color. It does have yellow undertones so it's warm and inviting but it's also not so yellow that it looks like a very sunny disposition on your walls it can look beige in certain lights and it just brings a little bit more depth and character than a bright white like brilliant white to a space again it's perfect for any room and especially for north facing rooms if you don't want too yellow to disposition but you also want to make that north facing room warmer and counteract the blue light that comes into that space and coming in at number seven we have absolute white now if you really really do like very white tones you don't want to carry a color with it especially if you don't have to tackle a north facing room or a very dark space this is another one that is not as bright white as brilliant white but it's certainly got that white disposition to it it's actually part of the light and space range again so it's got those light reflecting particles it's perfect for making smaller rooms feel a little bit bigger than they are now if you really do want a bright white in your space is a better option than a brilliant white in my opinion it's going to make the room feel bigger but also it does carry a slight undertone to it so it's going to be better for spaces that you want to create a warming inviting feel and you don't want to deliver a very flat plain and lifeless space i mean it's perhaps one of my favorite closest to whites in the dulux range it's great for absolutely any room in your home and of course it pairs with a myriad of colors so if you're not sure what you want your color scheme to be it can be a great foundational starting point and then you can bring in some colorful accents of it as well but if you are looking to bring other colors into the scheme don't forget to add a black accent which is what i say in all of my videos it's going to define the scheme it's going to stop the colors from floating and it's going to bring a much needed much needed touch of modernity into the space as well so just make sure you do that in a few well-placed areas such as light fittings photo frames and any decor accents it's just going to tie the room together and ground the space so those are seven of my favorite dulux white colors i have so many more that i love i'm going to link in the description below my full white color chart which details all of the white shades and dulux so you can really look through and see which ones you like these are just some of my favorite that are great for any room no matter the orientation and brilliant white just remember what i said about that at the start of the video if you really want bright brilliant white go for it but just be prepared it's not great in transitional spaces and also if you've got a very busy household with pets and children so if you enjoyed watching today's video please do give it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel i've got loads of other videos about dulux so please do have a look through and if you like what you see please press the subscribe and i will see you on my next video